This video is brought to you by Design Code. Design Code is a website that teaches people how to design and code at the same time, hence the name. They use many platforms, React, Swift, and other programming languages to teach people how to do so. I've been using their courses a ton and that's how I know how to program like I'm gonna be programming today. So if you wanna check them out, link in the description down below. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna call this series like programming with Jared. So I started freelancing a couple days ago and with that I'm learning a couple skills and learning how to get things done. But one thing that, I, that really struck out to me is how to take a design that someone did and make it into a, a workable product. Not something that's connected with the internet or anything like that, but something that you can just put into your hands and play around with. I think many times we get into the giant aspects of the application, like the hard, hard part of the application without really thinking about the basics. So today we're gonna to be taking a design. The Apple App Store is gonna be my example. And we're gonna go from nothing to having a workable app store. So with that, that means trying to copy exactly the design of the Apple App Store in our own application. So with this, this is gonna be a learning process for me as well as a learning process for you. So I thought I might as well take you guys along for the ride. So we're first gonna get started off with the Today page, trying to get everything done there. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and open up Xcode. We're gonna create a new Xcode project. This is gonna be a single way application. I'm just gonna call this the App Store. So the first thing that I like to do when I first get into a project is I like to create all the files that I'm gonna need. So to get started with the App Store, for instance, we're gonna need what? The, the at least six files to get started off. The Today page, the Games page, the Apps page, Arcade, and Search, as well as the Tab Bar page. So we're gonna go ahead and say File New six times and give them the, the correct file names. So I'm just gonna breathe, breeze through this. And then this last one here is gonna be a little bit special. So this is gonna be the tab bar page. Uh, we'll work on this a little bit later, but for now, let's go ahead and get started on our today page. So with our today page, we're gonna go ahead and say import Swift UI. We're only gonna be using Swift UI to program all of this stuff that we're doing. Um, and with this, I'm gonna to go to my content to view and just copy a couple things and rename. That's how I always do it. I don't know, it's the easiest way to do things. And then we can even take this, we copy that over to the games page, get get started for like the next couple of days when we work on those other pages. And a, a quick tip here is you can say find, we can say today, we can go to this, we can replace, and then we can just replace with what we want. So with this one, it's gonna be what? Games. And I didn't import Swift UI, so go ahead and import Swift UI. There you go. And now we actually have like a structure and also the previews for each of these pages. So now we can actually preview, preview, pre preview what we're gonna be saying, what we're gonna be doing. All right, so here we have it, today view. So first off, it's just gonna build and run. We're gonna have like the standard hello world going on. Yeah, let's actually get started with the tab bar page so that we can get this working at least. So to actually get started with this, we're gonna go ahead and type in tab view, open, curly bracket, close curly bracket. Also, we need to put inside of here the selection, like what, what what's gonna be the number selected. So I'm gonna say uh, at state uh, var selected will be equal to an integer, it seems like. And we're just gonna go ahead and put in our selected. Now this will be colon int will be equal to zero. And then put a dollar sign right in front of the selected and that should make it work. And then with our content here, we're just gonna go ahead and close that up. And now we need to put some content in. So what's gonna be our content? So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my today, today view dot tab item. And then inside of this, we're gonna put in some objects. So the tab item will be like some text. And we'll just put today. I don't wanna grab all the images and stuff like that for now, but this will work for, for the time being. Oh, and also it needs to be today view open close parentheses. There you go. So now we have today view. If we look at this, we should be able to see like a tab view and then it gives us today. So we've got like the basic foundation. So now we also want to do this with our games, apps, and so on. So we'll come right back. Well, 
Boom, and there you have it. So now we have our Today Games, Apps, Arcade, and Search all in there. And as you can see, we have that over here in our preview as well. And also you should be able to select any of these and it would actually switch to the various pages as well. Um, if we were, if this were to actually build and run. Here we have it. So now as you click on it, it kind of changes things around. But for now, yeah, that, that, that's basically the basics of getting this stuff right up and running. I forgot to charge my MacBook. Now it's all the way at 6%. So to get us started, we're gonna go ahead and work on our Today page. So if we look at the Today page for inspiration, right, we have like the date at the top, we have Today, and then we also have a little icon. And then we have the content. So with the content, we're not gonna put the same exact content, but we're gonna get like the general idea down. So. Let's go to our today view and the way that they've done it is first off everything needs to be in a V stack and then we're going to put everything inside uh, and then we're going to put our first part inside of an H stack and then everything goes into a scroll view. So we've got a scroll view, a V stack and an H stack. So this H stack is going to be that top little bar. It's going to have like our text that says Wednesday. April 15th. If we were to resume this, we should be able to see like basically nothing changed. You should be able to see, hey, Wednesday, April 15th up there at the top. So that's good. And as you look at these things, we have the scroll view, which covers everything. We have the V stack and the H stack. I'm going to actually switch this view here to the iPhone 11 as well to give us a, a proper view of everything. So also with this H stack, our V stack more like, I'm going to put all of the content leading. Uh, we're not going to have any spacing for now. And our content will be what we're describing right now. So now we have our first text. And then we also need to put in our today text. So actually this is an H stack. And then we have like one V stack inside of our H stack to put the Wednesday on top of the today. And then on the right side of this, we also have like a profile image. So let's go ahead and get a basic like profile image like flaticon.com I don't know. So this one kind of looks like the Apple one so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. We'll save it as a PNG. Let's do a free download here. I'm accrediting the author. You are welcome. Who's the author? Oh, the author is those icons. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab this and we're gonna take this and put it inside of our assets. So with this one we'll go ahead and type name it like profile. Then we'll go into our today page and then on the right side of our profile we'll have that that image or on the right side of that like top bar we'll have our image of the profile all right so as you can see like the image is it's probably going to be really big that's why it's giving me this weird air so i'm going to go ahead and yeah there <laughs> so i'm going to change the frame of this to something fixed with a width of i think 40 height of 40 and an alignment to the trailing because we want it to be on the right side. And then with this, we also want the image to be resizable. So right after the image, you, don't, you can't put it after the frame. You have to put it like right after the image. You want to say dot resizable. And there you have it. Um, with this, we also need some spacing. So I'm going to go ahead and say spacer. And also with this Wednesday, April 15th and today, uh, we want that all to be on the left side. So with our V stack here, we're going to go ahead and say alignment.leading. And then with our, our whole H stack here, I'm just going to add some padding just to make it look a little bit nicer, neatly organized. So with this April, Wednesday, April 15th, um, as they put it, it's like a tiny little thing. It's all gray. Our foreground color will be equal to dot, dot gray. And then we're also wanting to make this a little bit bold and I think maybe we can change up our font so we can say font dot maybe a caption. It's a little bit too small. Maybe like a footnote. I feel like that's all right. Wednesday, April 15th. But with our today, we want this to be huge. So we're going to say dot font will be equal to a font dot I think large title. And then we also want this one to be bold as well. Big and bold. And there you have it. Now we have like Wednesday, April 15th. We got the today. Now let's go ahead and work on like the rest of our things. And also an important thing to note, like this image here, this is a profile. But I actually want this to be a button. Like I want to be able to press on that. So I'm going to say button. We're going to give it an action and a label. So with the label here, we're going to go ahead and put inside of that label our image. And then our action, we're going to create a function here. 
So we also want to give our button an action. So I'm going to create an action here called like load profile. And then we're just going to go into our action and say self.load profile. So when the button is clicked, we're going to load a profile. And as you can see, because it's a button, it also changed the, the color. Um, actually, as they have it in the application, it is also blue, so it's more accurate. But if you do want to change the color, you can just say after this button, let's say accent color and make it like black if you want. And it'll change that color. But I'm all right with just leaving it blue. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start working on those big views. So I'm going to say struct. I'm going to call this a highlight view. And we'll make this view of our body some view there we go yeah first of all we want the the image to be in the back and then we put the text on the front and then we also want like a little gradient that way that that's the way they do it with apple um so in order to do that i think first of all we probably need to put this inside of a v stack maybe to con contain everything inside of the z stack i'm gonna go ahead and put what an, an image so let's go ahead and grab another image from the internet I like unsplash.com, they work a lot. Yeah, let's grab this cute little dog image here. And when that's downloaded, we're gonna bring it all the way over to our assets. So I'm gonna put this right over here, bring it over to our assets, and we'll just call this puppy. So now inside of our today view, I can put this image inside of our Z stack. So image will be puppy. So now let's go ahead and put this highlight view inside of our view. So in order to do that, we want to go inside of this V stack here, a highlight view. We're just going to add that right in there. So as you can see, the, the, the image is really big right now. So we're going to say dot resizable. It's going to resize to the size of our screen. And then I'm going to give this a fixed height uh, so that we can actually work with this a little bit more. So with our, with our highlight view, I'm going to say dot frame uh, will be equal to a width. We're not going to say anything about that quite yet and the height will be 600 or maybe maybe a little smaller I think 500 and the alignment will be leading now first of all we need to start editing this so I'm gonna say with our V stack here I'm gonna say dot padding so it's gonna give us yeah the, a little bit of padding and then we're gonna give it a corner radius of I think 30 maybe and actually we need to put this corner radius before the padding um it looks like that puppy's a little bit scrunched up so I'm just gonna move the height here uh, we can worry about like the way the images fill the scene a little bit later on but for now this will this will do with this like I said we we have a couple labels and then we also have a gradient so first off let's go ahead and add the gradient so I'm gonna say linear gradient open parentheses we're gonna add a gradient here open parentheses we'll give this some colors so with the colors here I'm gonna say dot clear to start and then we're going to end in dot black. Start point will be at the top, and then we'll make the end point the bottom. And you can see that there's our gradient. But to me, that black is a little bit harsh. So I'm going to go ahead and say dot opacity will be equal to 0 0.5. And also we need to put color dot black dot opacity. And now we can, you can see it's got a nice black gradient over everything, just to make it easier for our text. So now, about that text we're gonna go ahead and put in a V stack so with our V stack we're gonna put in two texts at the top we have like the the topic and then we also have like the category and then we have a description so first off we have to get what we need some variables we need some some text to put in there so I'm gonna save our category uh, will be equal to a string I'm gonna save our title will be equal to a string and then var description. Now, description is a, a thing that's already in there, so I'm going to say var message will be equal to a string as well. And so with this, now we can put those inside of some text. So I'm going to say text, uh, category, text, title, and then text, message. So that's something I, you want to plan this out how you're going to lay out your text. So text, category, title, message. You want the category and title to be at the top message at the bottom and now as you can see it's giving me this error it's saying that I need some parameters to put in there and so that that's good that we need to put in a category here I'm gonna put in puppy with our title let me think of a good title 
And if we were to look at this again, we should be able to see like the category, the, the title and the message should be put in there. There you have it. So we got puppy, you know, you love him. Isn't it a dog, everyone's favorite friend. There we go. Now we need to stylize these texts. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go in and say, hmm. So with the text color here, I'm gonna keep them white, all of, each and every one of them. Uh, an easy way to do this is just say color invert, uh, but you can also just say dot foreground color, and we're gonna put it as white. Then we just take that and apply it to each and every one of them. And you can change the colors and whatnot if you want to. But for this first category here, I want this to still be small, but we want these, these two, the category and the title to be all the way up at the top. So in order to accomplish this, I'm going to say, just put a spacer right in there. We got the category title and then the message. And also with this V stack, I'm going to go ahead and put a padding on there so that it just makes everything nice and neat. Now with this puppy, you know you want them. I want this over on the left. Actually, I want everything on the left. So with my V stack here, I'm going to say the alignment will be equal to dot leading and just like that. So with this category here, you can leave that as is. I think it needs to be a little bit bolder. And then with this title, I'm gonna go ahead and say dot font, and we're gonna change this to title as well. So we've got kind of a bigger, bolder title here as well. And that seems to be all right. It's a little bit different, but it seems to be all right. If you wanna change things up, you can go ahead and do so. So with this puppy as well, it looks like the white is a so also with this puppy um, we can also change the, the the opacity on that i'm gonna say color dot white dot opacity and we can go ahead and change that to i think 0 0.5 maybe and now if we were to take this highlight view and we can just copy and paste this to see what it looks like should be able to see in like a good old today view this is how we're starting it off um another thing that they do with apple is they add a little bit of a of a shadow to everything. So with this corner radius with the padding here, uh, we can go ahead and say dot shadow and give it a radius of maybe five. It's not too aggressive, but it, it's a little bit of something there, like maybe four even. And it just gives a little bit of depth to everything that you see. I feel like this padding in between here and the top is a little bit too large as well. So if you want to have like a specific padding, we can go up here to the H stack and we'll make the padding only work on certain sets. So for instance, we'll just say dot leading and dot trailing and the top. But with the bottom, we'll leave it as is. And I feel like that's a little bit more natural. And you can do that with anything. If you feel like this is too much padding in between here, you can go ahead and change that as well. But to me, that looks pretty nice actually. And if we were to go over to our tab bar page, we should be able to see that we have like today. And this is our tab view. And I think that looks pretty good for our first day's work. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this this different kind of feeling kind of video, just kind of working with me to try and get this project working and looking good. Um, if you have any suggestions for future videos, I hope to finish each and every one of these tabs and I feel like I can do this relatively fast. Um, I've been recording this video for 40 minutes. Um, I don't know what how much time this video is gonna be taking up, but um, to me, this was something but, uh, pretty simple to do. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see me finish these other tabs, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell button to get notifications uh, for any future video. And thank you for all the support. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye.